Fighting back against meth, tonight the first city in green country has taken steps to make buying the key ingredient more difficult. New on two, Wagner city leaders have passed an emergency ordinance. Two News reporter Brianne Paul Marini has the very latest from Wagner. Since 2004, pseudoephedrine's only been available with a valid ID and behind the pharmacy counter. But starting as early as Thursday here in Wagner, you're going to need a prescription. No. It'd be just the same thing as someone asking me for anything else back here without a prescription. The same answer, no. Steve Nicholas at Rogers Drug doesn't usually recommend pseudoephedrine to patients who come into the pharmacy. There's over-the-counter stuff that you don't have to go through all that that there's not the hassle with, like the, you know, the PE, the phenylephrine. We filled a hundred on his car. And he doesn't believe there will be any major issues with requiring a prescription for the drug. The bottom line, it should decrease meth production. The statistics have proven that it will drastically reduce uh, the meth labs. Uh, Hopefully, uh, reduction in crime will follow that. You can usually track some of the other, the burglaries, the larcenies, the domestics, you know, the child abuse, back to, in a lot of cases, the use of drugs. Monday night, the Wagner City Council and the mayor unanimously approved the emergency ordinance to require a prescription for the dry tablet form of pseudoephedrine, which is the main ingredient in meth. City leaders hope their move will encourage other cities to do the same. For some reason, it stalled at the state level, and uh, we're hoping that uh, with this grassroots effort that we'll be able to uh, open some eyes. Wagner residents will still be able to purchase the drug in gel capsule form, but Nicholas is convinced in the end the users will find a way around any ordinance. They've just pretty much made it out of everything up to this point. There'll be some MacGyver that'll come up with a way of figuring it out. Either way, this ordinance is expected to be a step in the right direction. Until everyone gets on board, uh, there's still going to be a problem in northeastern Oklahoma. Well, the city of Tulsa could be hot on Wagner's heels. They're having a meth summit later this month, and they could pass a similar ordinance as early as July. In Wagner, Brianne Pomerini, 2 News, works for you.